Nope. No. No. Today I am grooming Barney. He is a Newfoundland and mini poodle mix. Don't ask me how that happened. And he hasn't had much luck at the groomers. Today he's here in the hopes that I can get him groomed safely, identify his triggers, and figure out how to work around them. Okay, buddy. I can tell that you're already stressed. So based off of evaluation of this dog, he is matted, um, mostly in his back legs and um, bum area, a little bit behind his ears. The owners have been left to do this dog themselves because apparently he's really difficult for grooming. So I'm gonna see how it goes today. Um, but based off of evaluation of his coat, I am going to start with number seven. Okay, you don't like to be touched. I have no idea if he bites or if he's just very anxious and moves a lot. I am not sure. So I guess we're gonna find out. It's okay. Don't bite, okay? Good boy. Good boy, buddy. The owners say they like the Newfie look, which to me means they like him to be very fluffy, but considering how matted his back end is and how stressed he is for grooming, there is no way I am going to attempt to demat a dog that is already nervous to be groomed. It's just, that's a stupid idea. Okay, you don't like the clipper near your head. You don't like the noise. It's okay. Good boy. Good boy. You're okay. It's okay. Good boy. Now, I get quite a bit of views on this second channel. However, I don't get as many subscribers, I've noticed. So I think that's because a lot of people think it's the same channel. And I'm talking about YouTube when I talk about this. Um, and it's not. This is actually my second channel. So if you guys have not subscribed to this channel, your subscriptions really help me out um, by pressing that subscribe button. I'm able to groom dogs like this, for example, that have been turned away elsewhere and the owners are having a hard time at no cost to the owners because of the people that view my channel. So you'll really help me out if you press that subscribe button. Okay, buddy. Okay. Say yes, you'll help out, you'll help out dogs like me if you press subscribe. Thank you in advance for those who do. What I'm really looking for is to see if he spins and tries to bite my clipper so that I know if I need to protect myself by muzzling him. I don't mind if he spins as long as he doesn't also bite at the same time. Good boy, Barney. He's got some matting around here. The clipper is shaving underneath the mats, but it does pull a little bit as it shaves. And I've noticed the second there's any kind of pulling, is when Barney kind of panics. And I kind of wonder if he's maybe been dematted in the past and it hurts and he remembered that and now he's scared of grooming. Could be wrong, this is just an assumption of what I'm making based off of my experience working with dogs that kind of behave like this. Do you stand up? Up, 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 up. Okay, you see how he immediately stopped panting? Up, up. So that's a sign for me that he's not liking something. Um, and that's a sign for me that he could spin and try to bite if I try to force him to stand. So I always pay attention when they go silent and stiff and stop panting. That's usually an indication that the next thing they're gonna do is potentially spin at you. Up, 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 up. No, he doesn't wanna go up, up. No, no, up, 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 up. Thank you. But your paw is not what I asked for. Oh, you are very mad in here as well. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So oftentimes when dogs are matted like this, underneath their mats is very itchy. So what I try to do for example, something unpleasant, me shaving, he doesn't like it. I try to scratch that area after I shave that hair off um, because sometimes they're so itchy that they 
kind of associate a negative with a positive, like, oh, I don't like that she's shaving, but as soon as she scratches that area, it feels nice, so maybe I don't mind this so much. It doesn't work for every dog, but sometimes it works. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Barney. It's very matted back here. People ask me, you know, do you ask the owners before you go ahead and shave their dog? Yes. I already told the owner at drop-off that his dog was matted and likely going to be shaved right down. If I'm working on a dog and I noticed it afterwards, then I will text them and say, hey, this is the situation. Just making sure you're okay with this before I go forward. This is what I'm willing and able to do. So yes, I obviously absolutely tell people. Can I shave under your neck? Over here. Good boy. Okay, come here. Good boy. Good boy. No, no. So under his ears is a little bit more matted. So I'm gonna use a 10 because I don't want there to be any uncomfortable pulling that he gets upset about in such a sensitive area. It's okay. The way that he behaves around his ears where he really doesn't like it, and I flip it over and I wanna look inside his ear, it means one of two things. Either he's had infections in the past or he currently has infections and he's scared of having that area touched because he's had infections or He's had his ears plucked before, and that was a very traumatic experience, and he's afraid that that's what I'm going to do. People ask me a lot about ear plucking. It's very controversial. Um, I, let's see if he'll let me shave his butt. I don't do ear plucking, and I'll tell you why. I did ear plucking for, I would say, the first five to six years in business, and then I stopped. A lot of dogs I found were having irritated ears after their ears were being plucked. Owners were contacting me, telling me that their dogs were having issues, blah, blah, blah. So I decided to do an experiment. I was told that you should pluck ears because it prevents infection. So I decided I was gonna stop plucking and see if I got a bunch of dogs developing ear infections that, and they needed them to be plucked. Lo and behold, that did not happen. No dogs developed ear infections, and I'm telling you over a course of about six or seven years, um, any dogs that did develop infections, it wasn't because their ears weren't plucked. It usually had to do with outside factors such as allergies. There was very select dogs that owners asked that I plucked that I continued to pluck because their vets recommended it for that specific dog. It's okay. But otherwise, I stopped plucking and I noticed that it's actually just not a necessity for every dog. Some dogs do need it done, most of them don't. So that is my personal opinion on ear plucking and it worked for me. Okay, it's matted in there. I'm told that he really doesn't like having his legs or feet done. And that would explain why they're so matted and overgrown. Nope, nope, you stay up, good boy. Um, I'm going to make the assumption that, that he doesn't like having them lifted. And if I could shave them with them not being lifted, he'd probably be more or less okay with it. I'm gonna attempt to lift it and see what he does. Don't bite, good boy. Good boy, buddy. So a lift a little bit, give him a break, see if I can do some without lifting, and then lift again, and then give him a break. Good boy. 
some dogs really don't mind having them done. They just don't like having it lifted for whatever the reason. It doesn't help that he is a bit overweight. So lifting these legs is hard for him because he has trouble standing on three legs. If he lost a little bit of weight, it would be beneficial for him and easier to have his legs lifted to be groomed. You're being really good. Really good boy. Please don't snap and bite me. So far, I haven't seen any aggression out of him. He did lift his lip a little bit when I was shaving behind his ears, so I'm not letting my guard down. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, will you let me lift that leg? Doesn't like it. Good boy. Can I see again? It's okay. Okay, give me paw. I know you give paw. Give me paw. Good boy. Give me paw. Give me paw. Shake a paw. I don't know what the word is. High five. Shake a paw. Fine. Ignore me. Ignore me. Good dog. Good dog. You're okay. You're okay. Yes, you're okay. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Boy, yeah, good dog. Good boy. Okay, I'm gonna switch to a 10 because it's pulling too much with the number seven. I'm gonna switch to a different spot for a minute. Don't tense up. Calm down. Good boy. Probably been a long time since you've felt yourself so clear under there, eh? Okay, good enough. So he is pretty well shaved and now I am going to take him for a much needed bath. All right, Barney, let's go. Okay, how are you going to behave in the bath? Are you gonna be a good boy? You're gonna relax in the bathtub? Okay, now we have to stay in the shower, no backing out. So I'm gonna kind of block his exit because something tells me he's gonna revert out of the shower. So I'm gonna stand over here and just turn the water on and see how he behaves. Can you turn this way? Come on. Good boy. So I can do that side. It's okay, relax. Relax. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, so he's afraid of the nozzle. So what I'm gonna do... I'm going to take the nozzle off. And I'm gonna wash his face just with the hose. Good boy, good boy. Yes, your face is wet. Oh, sorry, scrub it in with some soap. I always get tons of emails and questions about where I get my stuff and where to buy it. And everything is available on my website, girlwiththedogs.com. So you guys can check that out if you're looking for grooming products, shampoo, brushes, any of that stuff is all on my site. This is the Tearless Shampoo that I'm using right now. This is good for faces. It's also good for puppies and kittens because it's sensitive, it has a very mild scent, and once you rinse it, there's not really much scent at all. Okay, buddy, let's rinse you down. 
Since he doesn't like the nozzle, I'm just gonna rinse him down with this instead. Good boy. I knew you were gonna do that. Buddy, can you stay in the shower, please? Just for a second until I'm done towel drying you, please. Thank you. Okay, hopefully you tolerate the dryer. If not, I shall crate dry you. Come here. Good boy. that side now. Fix your happy hoodie. I know you think you don't like it, but I promise you do. Nope, nope, Okay, let's finish you off, buddy. So, so far, he's been really good. He did snap a little bit when I was trying to blow dry near his face with the big dryer. That's the only little bit of snapping that I saw. So I'm hoping I can just work on his paws and he won't snap at me. And maybe he might pull his paws away from me, but I'm thinking that's the extent of it. Some people comment on my videos and say, did you really have to go that short? Yes, I did have to go this short. He was matted in his back end and a little bit on his neck and chest, and I could not take a longer blade through this. So he gets a number seven today, and it is what it is. Good boy. Good boy. Very good boy. No, good boy. Yep. Okay. So you don't like the paws, I see it. Now you are triggered. I'm just putting this in front of him to see if he bites it. He thinks now 
because he snapped at me and I stopped, that that is his way of getting me to stop. So, he will be getting what they all get, the muzzle and the groomer's helper. Because despite how he feels about it, you're going to have to get your paws done today. Something tells me that they're probably matted on the inside. And you do not get to bite just because you don't like something, mister. I'm sorry. Yep, you were being really good up until that point. I kind of had a feeling, I was really starting to think that the owners were liars and that their dog was totally normal. Stop, 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 stop. No, 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 no. But they are not, and he does not like his paws being touched. Good boy. Good boy. Very good boy. No. So before I go ahead and do his nails, because I'm sure that's going to be a trigger, I am going to shave out his paw pads. Okay, I'm gonna start with the back ones first. Good boy. You're a good boy. Very good boy. Very good boy. Good boy. Nope, you're not winning this round, sir. I am very sorry. Nope, no, 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 bad, no, no. really inappropriate behavior. Calm down, good boy. So I had help come in and hold him to do his paws. Upon doing his paws, I realized that his nails, his quicks are very long, so his nails don't need to be trimmed, thank God, because he, I think he would have really went over the edge with that. Um, it just goes to show you, I know I didn't technically film it, but the difference, um, it's okay, it's okay, in him behaving with somebody holding him versus somebody not holding him was very evident, and so this is a two-person dog, specifically when it comes to the paws, definitely a two-person dog. Good boy, good boy. Okay. Okay, let's do your face before I finish your paws. You're a little bit overwhelmed about your paws right now. Good boy. Pulling away. Shh, shh, shh. Let's do it. 
do your face first. It's okay. Stay. Good boy. So he does have what appears to be an ear infection. Now that I lift over his ears and I get a better look. Somebody asked me recently if they have an ear infection, I'm upset that you don't clean out the ears. And it's important for people to understand, come here, that cleaning out the ears at the groomer, no for a dog that has an ear infection is not going to do absolutely anything for the dog. If anything, it's actually... Stay. Nope, nope. Good boy. Good boy. Nope, nope. Nope. Hey, your face is okay, but it's not exactly how I would like for it to be. The time has come where I must finish off his paws. Good boy. Stay. Good boy. Good boy, it's okay. Good boy. After two hours, Barney's groom was completed. With someone petting his head, he was much more relaxed for his paws, and I was able to complete them without an issue. His face wasn't done to my standards, but that's because he was moving quite a bit. His triggers are definitely blow drying his face and specifically touching his front paws. He is definitely a dog that can visit a regular groomer, as long as they have an extra set of hands to distract him while doing his paws. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you again in a few days.